Hey guys, welcome to another review and today we have an exciting product. We have the KZ DQ6. First KZ for me in a long time and this is really exciting because it's a 3 driver per side system and 3 dynamic drivers at that for around $30. Definitely in the price range for a lot of people. And looking at the box itself, it has that you know kind of gray um, kind of color with that kind of TRN IM1 kind of look. So definitely really exciting to look at. So let's unbox this thing. Of course, big thanks to um, Boo Easy for sending this over. Um, links down below for their shop. So actually, it's been a while since I unboxed the KZ. So this will be really exciting. So you're actually getting pretty standard um, KZ kind of box. Uh, but actually, the portrait itself, um, the IEM looks kind of cool uh, with this kind of um, gray kind of color. You have DQ6, unilateral uh, three dynamic challenges, the configuration limit. Uh, you're getting a 3.5mm jack, um, 0.75mm um, two-pin connector. 20 to 40 k hertz in frequency range and 24 um, ohm impedance as well so opening it up all right so that's a quite cool kind of design um actually recently especially with the zax actually kz design is getting better and better and uh, this is actually a nice looking kz as well so the zax uh, i kind of like the minimalist kind of design in here as well it's kind of cool looking as well so even the edx even if it's cheap it kind of looks cool uh, but uh, let's take a look at um, the lobes later. Uh, let's take a look at what you get in the cables first. Uh, but this kind of looks like the the Y kind of cable. All right. And what you get with the you know sub twenty um, dollar counterparts. In here you're getting additional tips as well. And uh, from the looks of it, it's your um, typical um, silicon tips as well. All right. There you go. Okay, looking at the lobes itself, so I am liking the color so far. So this kind of reminds me of the yin use of the past that I have unboxed. Um, I'm kind of liking the color overall. So it's kind of like a gray, matte gray kind of color. Definitely something that I like. Um, I don't know, might be one of the candidates for the best I'm looking KZ uh, that I have seen. Uh, maybe right up there with the ZAX because I do like the ZAX as well. But uh, this also takes the cake. And uh, looking at the um, case itself, actually, um, it's pretty cool because you have that kind of fins. So finally, we're able to see uh, something like this. And I'm really, really a big fan of fins in any IEM because it makes it you know more stable on the ear. And uh, definitely a big fan of these. It's actually a different kind of case in terms of the overall shape. It's more custom IEM kind of shape, um, which definitely is... Uh, something that i really welcome it feels really solid in the hand too i mean for the price that you're paying for definitely um this feels solid and uh, i do like the plastic that they use let's say in terms of the overall design um this kind of a notch up compared to um the other you know kz's that i have checked um this feels really good in the hand i'm not sure if this is metal or um plastic but uh, definitely it feels good and uh, you're getting also the new um kz connector as well uh, which will make it more stable on the ear Kind of reminds me of the BA5 as well because uh, the BA5 also has this kind of curvy kind of design which is I definitely like as well. So let's put the cables in. So we now have the cables in and yeah definitely typical of any KZ. So uh, I would want to see you know better quality cables um, but uh, yeah I mean that's usually the case for KZs. They don't really invest that much in cables but they do invest in giving you the best you know value just of the lobes. So that's their uh, kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like. So yeah, let's now put it on the ear and uh, I'm going to give you guys my impressions in how this wears on the ear and also how this sounds like as well. All right, so we are now wearing it on our ear and actually it's really nice on the ear. Um, it's actually really stable on the ear. So in terms of stability, it's definitely one of the more um, stable ones definitely in that price range because it has some fins and also it does go inside your ear as well. So this does remind me a lot of the BA5s in terms of the insertion and also the stability on the ear. So really, really stable in these. You can definitely do some extraneous activities with these and uh, it will stay on your ear in terms of comfort actually it's pretty comfortable as well so even if it has some fins sometimes for some ams they overdo the fins and uh, it makes it suffocating feeling on the ear so it's not like that here it's still quite breathable on the ear so maybe because of that um, custom IM kind of design it has a little bit more um, contours it's uh, definitely breathable on the ear you can definitely listen to this for a long listening session and also um, that tips as well, it's quite soft on the ear so it's not that suffocating feeling. 
So definitely even um, the tips helps out in making this more stable, uh, more comfortable on the ear to listen to. In terms of isolation, I would say not the best in isolation. Uh, I think maybe because of the tips, the tips that they included is not the best that I've listened to. So definitely if you want more isolation in these, you should um, change up the tips to others. Uh, maybe the AET 08s or maybe the spin fits as well will be nice. But definitely yes, I'm not the best on fitting. Actually the tips also is not the most um, stable fitting. Um, on the lobes itself so it's uh, quite loose um, so definitely compared to maybe your usual um, starline tips um, this definitely a bit more loose than usual so uh, actually for this if I'm gonna upgrade it um, that's the first that I'm gonna upgrade to uh, I'm gonna upgrade the tips to maybe spin fits or um, AET 08s uh, I think that will be a worthy upgrade for these but overall in terms of the uh, fit on the ear this is uh, definitely good Definitely one of the more um, stable KZs that I have worn on my ear. Right now, let's go to the sound. So actually, listening to these, it's quite exciting because uh, it's the first time that I'm going to hear a full dynamic driver type of KZ. And actually, when I was listening to these, it does uh, remind me a lot of a KZ type of sound. Uh, but now with some improvements in some areas because it's a dynamic and driver type of sound. So definitely, firstly, uh, as you can see from the title, for KZ lovers, KZ fans, you will feel right at home with these but now you have the benefits of having a full um, dynamic um, driver and type of configuration so firstly compared to other cases that i've heard this definitely has an improvement in tonality so um, because of that dynamic um, driver type of design Definitely, this still has that 10k peak, um, so that um, KZ peak at the top. Definitely a very KZ um, sound still. It really has that shimmer on top. And now, given its dynamic um, driver kind of configuration, it has a little bit more um, liveliness in the sound, a little bit more energy in the sound. And actually, in my first um, listen in these, um, what really surprised me is the instrument positioning. The 3D staging here is nice. Definitely for a dynamic um, driver configuration, this might be one of the advantage of having that multiple um, you know, dynamic driver. So looking at the measurements, this is definitely a KZ type of sound of through and through. So from the measurements from the bass region, um, you have that kind of smooth line going towards around 800 hertz region where you have that recession. Um, and that is your um, valley for your V um, shape. And from 800 hertz, you have that um, kind of vocal uh, hump going towards around 2 to 3K. So in the mids region, you have a small hump, but definitely it's still um, more recessed than your base region so it's still um, quite a U uh, type of shape and after that um, it goes down to around 4k and after that it goes up again uh, with that major peak at around 5k and then goes down again at around 7k and you have that final um, you know 10k peak a KZ peak at around 10k again so you have that double horns at the top here, uh, which is you know popular nowadays, and still it is bright on top as well. So this kind of reminds me of the Blonde Zero One and also TC Zero One, um, the ZSTXs. Um, this kind of um tuning, they have their similarities here. So actually, firstly, compared to the ZSTX, um, the 10K peak here is a little bit more toned down compared to the ZSTX. Actually, um, the ZSTX also has that um, mid um, bump. But definitely in that 10k peak, um, the DQ6 is a bit more toned down. So definitely for those who's more tribal sensitive, you might like the DQ6 more than your ZSTX. So compared to the Blonde Zero One, um, the DQ6 has more brightness on top, um, has more prominent peaks at the top. So as you guys can see in around 5k and 10k region, um, the DQ6 has more uh, prominent peak uh, on top. Definitely the highs in the Blonde Zero One is a little bit more toned down compared to your KZ. So actually comparing to the TRN BA5, so the BA5 also has that um, hump in the mids region. Uh, but actually the BA5 um, doesn't have that prominent um, 10k peak. So the BA5 goes down earlier. Um, compared to your um, DQ6 and actually the BA5 is a little bit more balanced as well compared to the DQ6 the DQ6 is a bit more um, bright on top compared to your BA5 so definitely in terms of signature it has um, you know kind of a mix of different IEMs so in terms of highs in terms of the KZ world um, this is one of the few that's in a uh, dynamic um, driver type of configuration so definitely in terms of the tonality, um, this is one of the better ones that you can get for a KZ. So the tonality here is better. So it's a bit more rounded on top. So definitely, you know, in terms of uh, you know having more natural um, type of sound, um, this is a bit better compared to your usual um, BA counterparts. So definitely, um, this has you know that fun engaging you know type of kz sound that you know every kz followers like however if i'm gonna nitpick in the grand scheme of things so while this has some improvements compared to your you know ba counterparts the peak on top um, still makes some symbols a bit too thin for my liking 
So like in Dream Theater, you, not me, the symbols um, still is lacking a bit of body for me. I find other dynamic drivers to have fuller, you know, bodied symbols. So in terms of highs, while it's better, uh, I would say it's still not the strength of the DQ6. So mids are actually very nice in these. I do like the mids, um, especially the vocal positioning is nice. So definitely that uh, hump in the mids uh, region helped out in making the positioning better. So this kind of reminds me of the BA5 in a way, in terms of the you know a positioning in the vocals. So for both male and female vocals, uh, I do like the positioning here, and the vocals are fairly revealing too. And also it has that air in the sound uh, while not being too shouty to listen to. So actually for these, I like the female vocals more than the male vocals. However, still, if I'm gonna nitpick for some people, um, especially if you listen to high volumes, you might find that the some parts of the mids, like for example, snare hits might be a bit um too hot for you. Like for example, in Joe Satriani jumping in, the snare hit in the mids region might be a bit hot for your liking. So, but if you keep you know good volume levels you might not encounter these your mileage may vary on these and especially de depending on the tracks that you're listening to but for me yes uh, i like the mids here overall so for me i like the mids over the highs and the dq6 so the bass is definitely substantial so compared to your blonde zero one i'm um, this more boomy compared to your blonde zero one but this is not as boomy as your blonde zero three this has some quickness i'm um, still to the bass uh, but definitely this more of a fun kind of bass the bass impact is substantial substantial as well so definitely prominent in the mix and also big in the mix as well and maybe on some tracks actually it kind of bleeds to the mids a bit so um yeah definitely substantial in these but i would say not that much so this is not your overwhelming you know bassy um type of uh, iem so definitely there's still some clarity in this iem it's also front and center in the mix so sound stage is pretty big uh, one of the biggest that i've heard in a kz um, imaging is also surprisingly good so actually um, yeah this is one of the key things that surprised me in this um, IEM so over the blondes I find the positioning here is a little bit more pronounced like for example in earth wind and fire um, let's groove the shaker on the right side is easier to pinpoint than your blondes so uh, maybe that's uh, the advantage of the you know three driver type of design separation is also pretty good in these you know even for a dynamic and driver configuration the separation is uh, good um, I would say more so compared to other you know single DDs that I have tried so again uh, might be another advantage of a multi driver um, type of design in terms of detail uh, while this has some micro detail uh, this is not the most um, detailed pair so yeah in terms of the micro dynamics um, this is uh, not the strength of the DQ6 All right so compared to um, the blonde zero one so the blonde zero one has more toned down highs uh, a bit less pronounced bass in the zero one um, the bass is uh, tighter in the zero one the zero one also is a more pronounced u type of shape the dq6 has a little bit of uh, that again that mids um, elevation uh, which makes it a little bit more of a w um, type of shape the dq6 in comparison has a bit more um, boomy bass at the bottom uh, more substantial impact on the bass as well more toned down mids in the dq6 but uh, just a touch it's not that far off but more substantial peak and uh, brightness on top so if you kind of want more substantial bass and more prominent peak if you're into a kz type of sound you should go with the kz if you want a faster sound and less um, peak as well go for the blondes compared to the blonde zero three the blonde zero three is warmer a little bit more relaxed as well and vocals for me are still more natural in the blondes the dq6 has a better separation also brighter on top uh, more toned down on bass as well in terms of signatures these are farther um, compared to the blonde zero one the blonde zero three is definitely warmer the dq6 is a more pronounced hue uh, bright hue so it will depend on your preference for these you know if you want warmth go for the blonde zero three if you like uh, more v uh, more brightness on top go for the dq6 all right so verdict for the dq6 um so this has been a long review but yeah for me for this kz it has a lot of things going for it uh, firstly i do like the design overall um one of my favorite design kz's i'd say um, looks nice um fits nicely on the ear and i do like that uh, you know fins on the ear and also custom im kind of design definitely a big plus for me um, you know having that really nice fit on the air improves my experience in listening that's definitely a big plus in these and also it has that kind of kz type of sounds so if you're a kz fan kz lover if you're you know upgrading from something that's under 20 dollars this will be a nice um, consideration because you know you'll feel right at home 
if you like you know the kzstx um or the zsn pros yeah uh, you'll feel right at home with these because it still has that brightness on top it still has that shimmer on top which makes this more fun to listen to so it still has that kz type of fun but now with that kind of dynamic driver configuration which has its advantages of course in that tonality part so for me in terms of tuning um it's definitely your 2021 tuning so you know a lot of people will pick this up and you know just be okay with the sound um, because yes, it's uh, quite nice on the ear. So definitely compared to your even blonde counterparts, um, this will have some advantage, especially if you're into a KZ type of sound. So they try to you know find a middle line. It's not the same as your blondes. It still has that KZ touch. So in terms of cons, um, definitely it's not a perfect IEM. So if you're not into that 10K peak, uh, definitely you should look elsewhere so this is uh, really prominent in the mix so if you're also not into that mids that you know might be hot in some tracks um, this might also not be for you and also yes the vocals are not the best that i've heard um, single dd sometimes still perform better in the vocal region um, like maybe the blonde zero three and also for those people who doesn't like um, elevated highs on top who doesn't like bright um, IEMs, this might not be for you as well. So I'd say yeah, in terms of the price range, these are really good value for the money. It has its own thing going for it. You know, a three driver uh, per side kind of configuration, it has a unique um, thing going for it. And that's what I like about, you know, audio gear in general. You have a unique selling point and uh, this has its own unique thing because yeah, for a dynamic driver, it has a bit better separation compared to your other, you know, single DDs. It's kind of in the middle of a multi-BA, you know, so one DD type of configuration. It definitely has a unique, you know, selling point, especially in that price range. And I do appreciate that, um, especially for, um, you know, 2021, where there's a lot of IEMs that's coming out. So this has its own thing going for it. So if you're a KZ fan and, uh, you know, you like to try out dynamic drivers, this is a good pick. If you're also somebody who's considering maybe the Blonde Zero One, and you like a little bit more brightness at the top if you're if you like clarity you might also consider this also if you find uh, the base in the t01 is uh too much for you you might also consider this as well it may be even for some people who doesn't like to try out kz's before um, because you don't like maybe a BA type of configuration, this might be a good entry to the KZ um, type of sound. For me, frankly, I kind of like this. Um, so definitely for a KZ type of sound, I would say this is one of my favorites. And for the price that you're paying for, it's really nice value as well. So that's my review of the DQ6. Uh, really interesting, um, you know, I am to look at. And what do you think of the DQ6? Um, have you heard it? Uh, have you bought it? Uh, are you going to get one as well from the review let me know down in the comments below and for kz fans alike what do you think of the dq6 uh, are you okay with the dynamic um, driver type of configuration or do you still you know want your ba configuration let me know also down in the comments below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next t review bye bye